Hello, this is Wiki. Welcome to Somatic Movement session with me. Now, this session we focus on opening and releasing. And somatic means soma means body and integration of physical physical mental and emotions so when we are practicing somatic movement we are practicing movement with awareness with breathing with movement of your as you're practicing, you're aware of your sensations, you're generating awareness into how you're feeling, how you are thinking, what kind of thoughts you have at the moment. So these are the intention and the goal of somatic movement. Now in this sequence, you will find yourself doing different kind of experiential anatomy and yoga flow, hatha yoga flow. So let's begin. Get your mat ready, get into a comfortable position and see you there. So once you're on your mat, Stand. I'm standing against the wall, but as you're, if you don't have a wall, you can just stand still. And just pay attention to how uh, the state of the being of your physical body, instead of the being of your heart, any emotions around the thoughts, what are the thoughts? The mind and now as you're standing if you can't lean on the wall or feel free to lay down and just start to feel the support of the wall as you put your weight against the wall now invite and incorporate breathing into this moment of time, invite a deeper breath and receive a deeper breath into your body. And exhale, release and let go. Another inhale, we incorporate with our arms, putting your arms, stretching your arms to the side and inhale, stretching up. Almost like a string pulling you upwards. And exhale. And continue to feel the support of the wall, of the ground, wherever you are at. And then inhale, invite more chi and your oxygen into the body, into this space. And exhale. Letting go. Remember the intention for this session is to open up at the same time releasing whatever that does not serve us anymore. And so you continuously with the breath in and out, we feel now start paying attention to your feet. Your feet is almost like growing roots down to the earth and you're grounded in this root. At the same time, you're also connecting to the sky. So you're maintaining this connection to the earth and to the sky and you're just one deep channel going through. As you breathe in, you're inviting 
sky energy to come through your body as you exhale, you release down to the earth. Now continuously do this with simple gentle movements. This is just to open up your body, physical body and energetic body. Now stand hip apart, putting both hands on in front of your chest. Inhale, lifting your chest up. Lifting your hands up. Exhale, let it go. Now continuously bring your chest, hands on the chest. Now one hand, right hand moving, pointing downwards. As you inhale, you extend one hand up, one hand down, straight line, and exhale. Bring both hands to the center, back to this present moment. On the other side, ex inhale, invite your left palm, smooth pointing downwards. Inhale, extend both arms, and then exhale, make a circle back to the opposite position, coming back to the center. So we are creating a space for us so that this is your kinesphere. This is where you can move around your body, your circle, your boundary. Alright, let's start with a simple warm up. And do it by standing. Um, start with pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing your toes, point toes for 12 times. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can always lean on the wall for support. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. And you make a circle in your ankles to one side six times. Three, four, five, six. Another side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another leg. Right towards the right six times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. And on the side, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. So let's do a bit of our heels up and then down. Heels up and then down, just to open up the ankles. Up and then down. Two more times. Up, down, up, down. And it's always best to do warm up before we start moving, right? Just to warm up the ankles and then we do Warm up for the knees, put both hands on the knees and then move into one circle. And in terms of qigong, we always start with warm up for the joints because once these are energetic, there are energetic points as well, meridian points, subtle bodies and stuff. So whenever you warm up the joints, starting from the leg, up to the body, you're inviting this space to loosen up and you're allowing the chi to flow more. So let's move to one circle from the hips towards the right side six times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. I know I say six times but my body just loves to do it more. To the other side, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, this is a very subtle movement, yeah? So I can show you. You can slightly bend your knees, put your hands on at the side of your hips, and go circling, pushing your tailbone, pushing your pelvic. Forward, to the side, back, side, front, back, side, back, side. 
So it's a very subtle movement. So you can engage and use the pelvic, this point, start to just move around. So this is how you move your pelvic right? Okay, so you start by moving to the front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front, side, back, side, front. Coming to neutral position, and we go to the other round just to open up our pelvic a little front. Back side, back side, front, left side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side, front side, back side. Then to come to neutral position. All right. Now you can keep, you can close your eyes and just stay into this. Be into this moment with your breath. You can lean towards the wall or the ground and just feel your feet proudly rooted on the floor. And you're still maintaining the connection from the sky and down to the earth. Continuously check in with your breath. Can you deepen the breath? Can you relax your face? Now coming into a standing position, and then we will start with rotating your arms. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, down. You can stand hip width apart or slightly wider. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, down. Four more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, release and relax. Nice. So for the shoulder, put your hands on your shoulder and then try to touch your elbow together and open up your shoulder. As they come together, see if you can touch them. If not, it's okay. Just open up your shoulder on one side. I would say one direction. Three, four, five, six. Another side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Now, put your hands on your shoulder as well. Stand hip width apart. And open up your palms straight. And then coming back together. One, just to open up the joints of the elbow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, for the wrist, you put both wrists together, close your hands, stick them together, and then make one round, two, three, four, five, six, and another side, internally rotate, three, four, five, six, nice. Now if your neck, we're going to rotate your neck, invite your neck to look up. Your eyes are up, and then exhale, coming down. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale, onto the side, left, right. Look to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, come back to neutral position. As you inhale, you're tilting your hips, your ears towards your shoulder. In, exhale, in, ex, in, out, in, out. Nice. Now, we have done 
and our joints warm up. What we're going to do with a spinal warm up. Spinal is where you do you send it with position, raise up your arms, inhale and exhale, come pushing your hips forward, extending your arms down to the ground, and then just stay here with the forward bend. If you feel your hamstring is tight or tight, you can slightly bend your legs so that you can relax the speck of the spine. And then relax your head, relax your shoulder. Stay a couple breaths here. Your hands can be on the floor or on the shin. And then slowly rolling up, inhale. Extend your arms upwards and exhale. Now, Another kind of exercise warm up that we can do is we inhale and pull your hands up. And exhale, keep moving from the hips. So you're moving as if you're waving your body from the hips up to the hands. However, you move, I invite you to just accept and allow whatever it is and to instead of judging yourself or comparing so just inviting yourself to be in this moment with breath and this movement and this state of being with your body and exhale let it go and we do this warm up for the spine for the other side so slightly widen up your legs and then I inhale, invite your hands up to the both side of the body and then another hand is coming up to another side of the body. Now these are some of the warms up, warm up that we do when we're practicing, before we practice Qigong. Inhale. And then exhale. This is to open up the side of your body. You can stay here for a while. Exhale. Stay here for a while. Inhale. And exhale. Now, however fast or slow you want to do, it's up to you. Or however extend you want to go, but respect your body. If your body feels like it wants to. Stretch a little more, stay in this one position, please stay. If your body feels like moving, allow your body to do what it, what it needed to do. Okay. Alright, so as we come to the center position, when you're ready, inhale, put your hands up, and exhale, coming Put your hands on the side of the body. Now we have done this warm up and we will do more definitely, but for now, let's start with somatic movement. Now the intention is to open up to release, but you need to really open up. Release needed to happen. So what we do is we will start with shaking. Stand and hip width apart, position your legs parallel, facing forward. Are your legs rooted on the ground or the mat? Now slightly invite your knees to bend. As you bend, you feel like you're almost bouncing a little. Just feel the bounce of your knees. Feel the sensation of the knees coming to the hips as you bounce slowly, gently. Now invite this bounce to move upwards towards the front upper part of the body, the shoulder, and in 
light bounce to go through the whole body. Shaking through canvas. Tune up the level of your shaking. So you shake more vigorously throughout your whole body. Shaking invites and helps us to lose the tensions in our body, however you want to shake, left, right. You can lift your heels up. So once we are losing up the body parts, we are also helping the flow of circulation, flow of energy flow, anything that is stagnant, we are inviting this energy to go through and it's almost like a waterfall flowing down through you and you're inviting the water flow to just flush away everything that are stuck and stagnant in the body just to let it go. So you can power up your cheek from the hips area. This is where a lot of emotions, you can do this as well, emotions are stored. So allow whatever that it is to be and to go. Now take, pay attention to your breath as you're doing this, breathing in. Deeper, see if you can deepen your breath as you're shaking and check the effect of your body if you invite more breath into your body. Now, however, whichever body parts that needed more shaking, you can pay more attention to it. Could be your ankles, especially on the joints, your knees, your elbows, your shoulder, your head. Now be, be careful of your neck as you are doing this because this is not to like do it consciously, do it with intention. What you want to do is just to let go, release. And so when you let go, you're opening up space. And stop, stop shaking. And come back to our breathing, close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. Now check in with your sensation, check in with your breath. Slowly come back to the present moment and if there's any tension that you need it to move or stretch, do it now. Because next we're coming to keep opening. Keep opening. This is where our demo goes. Right? Keep opening is where you start to open your hips, pelvic, and then exhale. So as you do this, you, as you inhale, you're lifting up your knees. Exhale, opening up. You can use your hands to help to open up. And then let go. So as you keep doing this, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. It's like stomping. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Just do a couple more, and then we will do another opposite side just to close it. Because once we open the hip, we need to close the hips. Just like yoga comes with this. Alright, so start with slight bend with your knees. Maintain your spine in upright position. As you inhale, you lift, move your weight to the left side, and lift your right leg up. Right knee up to 90 degrees. Open up your right knee and then exhale, round it on the floor. Maintain bend, your knees bend just to protect your knee. 
Okay, again, shift your weight towards your right side of the body. Inhale, right, lift your left legs up. Whatever legs that you're using, it doesn't matter. And then exhale, like, stomp on the ground. So this is helping us to release any kind of stored things here. You're inviting them to release with your press and your movement. Again, inhale, shift your weight to the left. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you can use, even use your hands as a movement. Like how I do it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Okay, nice. How do you feel checking with your pelvic? Um, make sure there's no tension. If there's tension, slightly correct how you're moving your legs. Okay, maybe just shorten the gap, not too much. Or you can just stay still. Another variation, if you like to do, is just to stay still on the wall, stay in chair pose. Open up. Stay like this. So this is one variation you like to do, you can do. Or you can just keep stomping, stomping like this without opening hips that wide. Okay. Now we're coming back into this position. So step your foot outside. Um, widen your feet, both legs. And then inhale, you're inviting, you can use your hands to pull. Inhale, shift your weight towards one side of the leg, right side here. And exhale, lift and down. Back to center. Inhale, pull. Exhale, lift, down. Coming back to center. Okay? So once we, all we want to do is just to open up and work with the hips. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Coming back to center, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. <laughs> nice. Okay, so slightly release and relax your legs. A little stomp here and there. Now, we are going to do focus on our arms. You don't have to stand this wide. I want to yeah, maintain my balance posture. So, hip width apart or widen up your legs, it's all right. Whoever is doing other kind of variation, let's come into the same neutral position. As you inhale, you are opening up your chest, open up your chest, and look up. Inhale, open up this side, front side of the chest. Exhale, open up the back side of the chest. Hands coming to center and eyes gaze down. Inhale, chest up, eyes down, eyes up, hands up. Exhale, close arms, gaze down. Open up the back side of your heart. Inhale, again, chest up, eyes up, hands out, exhale, coming back to center. Open the back of your chest. Now I do a little cue as I can right now. Open, breathe in, exhale, close. Open, breathe in. Exhale, close. Open, breathe in. Exhale, close. Nice. A little bit of side to side stretch. Alright, okay. So we're done with somatic practice, somatic warm up with the hips and the arms. Usually, what we do when we are in a group, we'll play music and you'll start by moving your hips and your arms. This somatic movement. 
practice. You can grab your water, drink some water, meanwhile. Get your mat ready, your towel ready, and we'll come into our yoga session. Yoga sequence. As you come into a seated position, and just take a couple breaths here. Be aware of your the depth of your breath, your state of being physically, mentally, and emotionally. Sit in a comfortable position and come to the, put the awareness on the intention for the session, which is keep opening and opening and releasing. So as you're deepening your breaths, open your eyes. We'll come into all four position. As you're in all four, now this yoga sequence are mainly for your beginners. For people who are who have been practicing yoga or have not, this will be a good practice for you. When you come to all four positions, you make sure that your hands are parallel, your hands, palms are facing down, legs are parallel to each other, feet tuck down, but your shoulders are not over your palms, your shoulders are here. Okay. So as you inhale, you're in opening up your chest and exhale, rounding up your chest and gaze down into a cat pose. Inhale, open up your chest, open up your pelvic as well. Exhale, coming down, rounding up your back. Now inhale, we do a couple of variations here. Just to warm up the wrists and the legs and the knees. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do what feels good for the body. Inhale. Exhale. Alright. As you stay in this cat cow position with a couple more inhale and exhale. Just pay attention if there's any part of the body, joints, or the pelvic, or the arms, are tight. If they're tight, you can do more extensions like this, upward dog. Just to open up your chest, open up your shoulder, and then exhale, Come to baby pose. Inhale. Slightly extend if it feels good for you. As you move side to side. Come back to all four. Inhale, extend your right leg backwards and then just do a little bit of stretch here, front back stretch, coming back to center, extend your other leg, left leg to the back, a bit of stretching, back to center. Okay. Right leg, open up. Just to show you, I'll start with left leg first. 
open up your left hips to the side with 90 degrees angle and then make circulation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Open up the side of the another side of the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rotate to the other side. Two, three, four, five, six. Coming back to center. Nice. So you can slightly feel the open up of your body. Now inhale, raise your hands forward, right hand forward, and exhale. Invite your cross over your hands to under the left side of your hands and then slowly lower down your head on the mat. Push your hands, your left hands forward, opening up the right side of the body. Now your back are pointing upwards and you're opening the side of the body and inhale pushing up, left hand up, right hand and left hand come back to the center, inhale left hands up, exhale cross over to the other side of the body and make sure your hands, your heads and shoulders are on the ground. And then extend your right hand forward. Just do a slight opening for the shoulder. Inhale, push your right hand up. Left hand come back to center. Just a slight stretch on the side. Alright, so let's come to bring your hands forward and legs forward. Comes to forward fold. Full forward fold. Meaning your head are relaxed, your shoulder relaxed. Your, if your legs are tight. Slightly bend your knees so that you thumb up a touch the thigh. Inhale, rolling up. Hands up and then exhale. Hands on the chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold, full forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, full forward fold, hands on the mat. Right leg back, right left leg back, come into plank. As you come into plank, you make sure your body, your bum are not extending out. You are in, you maintain in um, this alignment. Maintain your core by engaging your core, yes. Engage your thigh. Exhale. Put down your knees, your chest comes down, chin down, and shoulder at the side of your hands, <laughs> hands on the shoulder are aligned, inhale, push your leg backwards, relax your leg, and then bend cobra. Inhale, slightly extend. If you want to fully extend your hand, you can. But I like to just do a more slight extension. Moving up. Exhale. Come to Dhamma Dog. As you're in Dhamma Dog, your hands are rounded and rooted on the floor, on the mat, pushing forward. Armpit facing each other, extend your shoulder so that they are not collapsed. 
and then soften your ribs, relax your neck. If you feel tight, slightly bend your knees, facing up. The back of your tailbone are facing upwards. Just to do a more stretch for your spine, the back of your spine. Okay. If you feel good, you can drop your heels on the floor. Inhale, raise your right leg up into three leg down dog. And stay a couple breath here. Exhale, stack your leg. So just now you were straight, right? Stack your leg, open up your hips, your right hips. Inhale and exhale, put your legs to touch the elbow and come into a pigeon pose. When you come into a pigeon pose, you are putting your knees, stacking in front of your hands. Now just come and invite this a little stretch on the pigeon pose for your hips. And if your hips are not touching, your hips does not need to touch the floor. All you need to do is just invite and feel the stretch on the hamstring, the thighs, and of course the back and your arms. Inhale, tuck your knees, tuck your legs, left leg. Exhale, relax and release your legs back to downward dog. Inhale, raise your left leg up, three leg down dog. Exhale, stack your legs towards your back. Open up the left side of your hips. Inhale and exhale, move your knees to the elbow and come into a pigeon pose. One leg in front. Back and release the back feet and just stay in this position with feel the stretch. Inhale, tuck your legs, left back leg, and bring your left leg into downward dog. And feel the stretch, soften ribs, soften neck. Open up your chest, the back of the chest. Inhale, come to plank pose. Drop your knees, drop your chest, drop your chin. Inhale, cobra pose, or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, and we're right, right leg up. Exhale, leg in the middle of your hands. Inhale, stay in the lunge position. We're going to lunge position. Heels up. And then slowly lift your body up, maintaining this position. Knee bend. Back leg straight, front leg, knees are parallel to the second toe. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, lower down to heels, back heels. Maintain hip opening. Open up your hands, stretch to both sides, warrior two. Look to the front. Maintain your position and alignment, heels are 60% on the back of the leg, outer leg. Stretch your hands forward. Inhale. Straighten your legs. Front leg. Maintain alignment. 
not to overextend, you can slightly bend. Exhale, slowly move your hips forward, hands down, another hands up, facing forward, open up your chest area. Now if this is in one line, open up your chest, open up your body. You can look front, look down, look up. However, whatever suits you, your body at this time. Exhale, lowering your hands to the front of the body. Come back to low lunge, a little stretch here. Inhale, exhale, release your leg back to downward dog. Plank, knee chest, chin, or chaturanga. Maybe cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right, left leg up. Front, in between your hands. And maintain, we're going up to lunge. Heels up of the back of the leg. Inhale, lift your body up, 90 degrees, alignment, straight back legs. If you feel it's, it's a lot of tension, you can slightly bend your leg or you can come into lower lunge. Okay? Maintain this position, inhale, hands up, exhale, lower down your heels, maintain your alignment. Inhale and exhale, lower down your arms to warrior two, look to the front of the leg. Look according to where your leg is bent. Stretch your hands. Inhale, straighten up your leg. Exhale, slowly extend your body forward from the hips. Lower down your hands, one hand and then one hand up, opening up your chest, opening up your belly. See if you can maintain your breath here. Keep breathing, invite deeper breath. Inhale and then exhale, just lower down both hands on the mat, front of the mat. A little bit of stretching here. Exhale, release your legs back to the other dog. Now see if you can feel any difference between your hips, your arms, your back. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down. Chaturanga, knee chest, chin. Up, inhale. And exhale, going to the other dog. One last variation we're going to do, invite your right leg forward, left leg forward, to the front, full forward bend, half forward bend, inhale, exhale, slowly roll up, and then exhale. Okay, now we're going to do one last round of this. As you inhale, invite your arms up, slightly stretch the upper part of the body, exhale, full forward bend, inhale, half forward bend, exhale, come into plank position, right leg back, right left leg back. In, and then go into knee chest chin or chaturanga. Upward dog or baby baby cobra. Exhale, come into down dog. 
Inhale, lift your leg up. Right leg up. Exhale, place in between your hands. Inhale, stay in this position. Exhale, lengthen the uh, Exhale, lower down your left knee. And straighten up your right leg. Flexing your toe. Cup your hands. And as you gaze forward, inhale, lifting up your chest. Exhale, falling forward. Just to do a slight stretch here. Inhale, exhale, come into a further position to stretch your hamstring, your right hamstring. Inhale, see if you can deepen the inhale with your movement, a little adjustment. And then next, next inhale, lift up, bring your legs up into the in between of your hands. Lift your left leg up and exhale. Lift your leg backwards and come to Double Dog. Plank, Chaturanga, knee chest chin, upwards, dog. Exhale back to you. Double Dog. Inhale, lift your legs leg up, left leg up. Exhale, forward to in between the arms, the hands. And then slowly lower down the right leg, knee, untuck your toes. Slightly move your left leg forward. Straighten up your left leg if you can, if not you can stay bent. Flexing your toes just to maintain, engage your core. You can lift your hands up, or you can use plank, or you can use a block to hold it. So inhale, lift up, exhale, slowly lower down your body. Just to feel the stretch of the hamstring of your left thigh. Inhale, exhale. See if you can deepen your breath to for the stretching. Exhale. Inhale slowly. Invite your left leg back in between of your hands. Lift your left right knee, right leg up. Come back into plank position. Knee, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward dog, baby cobra. Exhale. Plank, uh, downward dog. Now, just let me feel the difference as you are doing this. I can feel the difference between my. Uh, Stretch with my hamstring and can loosen up more. Now inhale, bring your right leg to the center of the mat, to the front of the mat, and left leg front of the mat. Half forward, fold, inhale, exhale, full forward, fold, and then slowly roll back up and exhale. Nice. Let's come into a sit up position. As you're sitting, I invite you to sit comfortably. Inhale, both of your hands are cups towards the side of your body, lengthen up your spine, 
look up. I'm going to take a few breaths here. Check if you feel breath. And then exhale, open up both sides of your legs to widen up your legs. However wide you want, it's up to you. Just respect your body and at any time you're doing this. So as you inhale, you can flex your toes or relax your toes, but I would suggest to flex just to engage the Thai muscle. So as you inhale, raise up your hand, exhale, fall forward. Hands can be on the ground, any place. If you feel like you want to do more stretch, you can move your hands slightly forward. Inhale, lift up, exhale. Down, release and relax. Now, now you can feel the stretch of your hamstring as well. Stretch of the back of the body as well. Stretch of the back of the body. Just need a couple breaths here. Inhale, slide, slowly lift your body up. And exhale. Now let's do about a five pose. Put your soles together. Hands on the front of your toes. And then slightly just move up and down on this butterfly pose. If you feel good to stretch, you can inhale, lift your body up, exhale, slowly move forward, and then stay here for a while. Inhale, come back to neutral position. Sit comfortably. You can sit in lotus position, in this position, or at the back of your legs. Now, we're coming into Virasana. And as you inhale, you invite your hands upwards, right hands up, come to the side. Okay. Right hand up. Bend your elbow, palms facing your shoulder, and the other hand just to bring it here. If you want to stay here, you can. On the next move, you can try to bring your hands, left hands to the side, bend, move your palms. Okay, so you can put Point your tongue up, point your tongue down, and slowly shift your hands to touch the right hand. If they can unlock or if they can't, it's okay, stay where you are. Now, for this variation, if your arms are tight, you can use towel or belt to help with your stretch. So as you grab this, you can use another hand to grab the same towel and just gradually invite a deeper stretch if you can. And if not, you just stay where you are. That's one variation. Another variation is just stay wherever you are just now. Okay. So I'll release the left hand, release the right hand, and come back to center, rolling up your shoulder. Relax your shoulder a bit. Inhale, invite your left hands up. And exhale, bow, bend your elbow, palms facing shoulder. Inhale, right hands to the side. Palms coming to thumbs up, thumbs down, 
and bend your hands to touch your another finger. If you can, if not, use towel or belt. Now stay in this position and see if you can deepen your stretch with breath. Breathing in to the shoulder blade, breathing in to your arms, upper arms, your fingers. And exhale, relax and release all the tension. Inhale and exhale. Relax your hands, right hand, left hand, coming to center, both your arms. Do any kind of adjustment needed for your arms. If it feels good for you, you can open up your shoulder blade, open up and close your shoulder blade. I like to do a little bit side twist. Okay. Now we have come to the almost the end of completion of the session. We will end this with silent moments. You can choose to lay down in Savasana or stay seated in any position that you're comfortable with. Once you find a comfortable position, Close your eyes and come into your breathing. As you breathe, remember and be thankful, be grateful for this session, for this moment where you're paying attention to the physical body sensations, your emotions, and any thoughts that comes in and goes. You're softening up your legs, your toes, ankles, shins, soften your knees, relax your thighs as you breathe in deeper. Fill up your belly, fill up your hips area, breathe into the back, as you relax each part of the body, breathe deeper, soften your chest. Give thanks to the moment, give 
thanks to each part of the body, thanks to your loved ones, your space, water, air, fire, earth, metal, ether. Thank you for your existence and your presence with me today. I wish you a wonderful life and when you're ready you can open your eyes and enjoy the day. Thank you.